All right, guys, what's up? And today we're gonna be doing a tutorial for installing BaseX. What's BaseX? BaseX is a secondary exploit for Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. <clears throat> now, it works on the new 3DS, old 3DS, and 2DS. Works on digital eShop copies and works with a cartridge. So if you have either of that and your DS system, and make sure you're on 11.2, then you're good to go. So make sure you're on the latest firmware and we can get started. Now, if you don't have homebrew, we're gonna be doing sound hacks. So we're gonna be doing two tutorials in one video today, just because people keep telling me about base hacks not working for the new update. And of course, people can't get, I mean, can't figure out how to get sound hacks working. Sound hacks is free, no game required, no power saves required, no nothing. All it requires is your computer, internet, your 3DS, your 3DS SD card, and an SD card reader that reads your SD card, and you're good to go. Okay? <clears throat> so now you'll probably notice that there's no more echo on the mic. I already figured out the solution on that, so I'm very happy. So you guys be the judge and you guys let me know. Okay, so let's get started. First, we're gonna come to the Homebrew Launcher page and we're gonna download the Homebrew Starter Kit. So just click on here. If you don't already have it, then just follow what I'm doing. Okay, make sure your SD card is inside your computer or SD card reader, whatever you have, and it should pop out. Now, we're going to need WinRAR for Windows. And I should believe it works for Mac as well. Anyways, so we're going to come to rarlab.com. I'll leave the link to the description. And just for Windows, just download WinRAR 32-bit or 64-bit, depending on what, what do you call it, what bit your computer is running. I believe mine's just a 64-bit, but I believe I'm running a 32-bit, if I'm not mistaken. So either one will work. All right, and for Mac, just download the Mac, okay? So now I'm gonna open up the starter folder here. I'm, I still left my SD card open. Gonna double click. Don't worry, WinRAR is free. Unless you wanna get whatever feature it has, then you pay for it, but anyways. Gonna get this. 3DS themes and boot. I'm gonna drag it to my SD card. Okay, since I already have these files, it's gonna replace them. <clears throat> For this, I didn't really extract the files just because it's only two folders in a file and it's easy to access. Okay, this is done. Now we're gonna need. To download the other app and make sure you select your firmware for your 3ds 2ds and new 3ds so i'm using the old 11.2-35 and whatever region your 3ds is from you could look on the settings of your 3ds and it should give you the last letter of the firmware. So mine says USA. So I'm gonna download the old 11.2.035U, which is the firmware for my 3DS, and U represents the region of the 3DS. Old works for old 3DS, old 3DS XL, and 2DS. New works for new 3DS and new 3DS XL. So if you have the new, just select the new and whatever payload, whatever firmware you have, okay? So we're gonna download it. All right, I'm just gonna click on here, show folder, or wherever you download it to. Go to my SD card. I'm gonna drag it into the root of my SD card. This is the root of your SD card. Once you open up your SD card, that's the root of the SD card. So hopefully you guys don't get confused on that. Now we are gonna rename that file that we downloaded, and we're gonna rename it to other app. Okay, that's it. 
<clears throat> now let's come to sound hacks i'll leave the link to the description or you could just go to soundhacks.com but either way i'll leave the link to the description to all the files that we're going to be using they're going to be in the description so you can download it from there now choose your region of your 3ds like i said the last letter of your 3ds firmware represents the region of the 3ds u for usa e for europe j for japan k for korea all right so of course i'm using usa choose your console whatever console you're using new 3ds new 3ds excel old 3ds old 3ds excel and 2ds so i'm using either one of this will work now we're going to download m48 perfect i'm going to go show and folder and i'm going to drag it into the root of the sd card since i already have it i'm just going to replace it just to show you guys step by step and that's it <clears throat> Remove your SD card from your computer or SD card reader. I suggest rebooting your 3DS. Just that way everything could boot up correctly and you won't run into errors. Now we're gonna come to the sound file right here. So press A. Uh, love the sound of the rain anyways you're gonna get welcome with this messages here yeah yeah whatever now you're gonna see let me move it here to the middle all right now you're gonna see record and edit sounds auto play and SD card if you see SD card then everything done correctly and you should see on the top screen Ned will 2016 all right, we're gonna press A, and then as you, you see, NetWheel 2016 Net Nintendo 3DS sound, and press A, and Homebrew should be launched. So if you get a re if you get stuck in the red screen, just retry again. If you keep getting a red screen, then you did it wrong. And if it takes you back to the home menu, then you did it something wrong. You didn't download the correct files. You didn't rename the other app to other app. And that's pretty much it. All right. <clears throat> now, let's download Base Hacks. So I'm going to leave the link to the description. We're going to download Base Hacks. So we're going to click download right here. That row pointing down and base X is gonna be down here shown folder so now remove your SD card and put it back into your computer all right I'm not trying to have so many windows open so you guys won't be confused so here we have the SD card and let's open up our base hacks All right, just close this message. Get this base hack exploit. Let me delete this right here. And drag it into the your desktop somewhere. All right, we could close this. Very important. You're gonna open up base hacks. And we're going to get this base hex folder and we're going to put it into the root of our SD card. All right. All right, perfect. Now we could delete this folder here and get base hex and put it into the 3ds folder here all right perfect so you should see the base hacks folder 
and when you open it, you're going to see AS10, AS14, AS OR10, OR14. Okay, and when you open the 3DS folder, you should see Base Explode Installer. Okay, perfect. Now you're going to right click on the other app. Remember how we downloaded it for Sunhex? Just go to Copy. So we're going to right click, Copy, go to Base Hacks, and we're going to Paste. So that's pretty much it, because they're going to use the same file, okay? So now remove your SD card. Put it into your 3DS. <clears throat> now you see Base Exploit Installer. You're going to see a gray icon with a question mark. All right, now you're going to be greeted with this message. Welcome to a Guide Dirty BaseX installer. Please proceed with caution as you might lose data if you don't press. You may press start at any time to return to the, to the menu. Thanks to Smilum and Salt Team for the installer code base, okay? Now, of course, it detected whatever game I had into my 3DS. So, of course, I'm using Alpha Sapphire cartridge. So, whatever game it detects is going to basically detect that okay we're going to press a to continue and it should automatically detect the firmware for you and it's downloading payload and installing payload okay it should take a couple seconds Let's try it again. So go back. If you get an error, just go back. So whatever game you select, it's going to detect it. All right. Let's try again. All right, so that's it. Now we could press start. All right, so I left out something important. So once you select base hacks, make sure you select your game that you have on. So whatever Pokemon game, Alpha or Omega, just select it and it should detect it, okay? So now let's go back to the original 3DS menu. All right, so I'm trying to do this very slowly so you guys won't get confused and everything comes out perfectly. All right. Now launch whatever Pokemon game you have. Okay, so now make sure you're at your secret base or if you don't have one, just make sure you find one. Let's see what route am I on right now. So I'm in my secret base right now. If you don't have one, then you could just check over here. What route am I in right now? I'm in route 123. So route 123 has one. And I suggest you save it here. So that way if it crashes or anything, you won't have to be, basically it won't take you back where you were at last saved, okay? So just open up your PC. Now we're going to go to edit secret team settings and then you should see this option right here, change team name. All right, press A. And we should be launching Hex Payload. Okay, so there, there's probably an error, but let's launch it again. See, that's what I mean. If you don't save it and it takes you back, man, you're going to have to do it all over.
All right, let's give it another try. All right, so edit secret team settings, change team name. And it should be golden. Come on. Yep, there you go. And homebrew is launched with base hacks. So that's it, guys. Hopefully, this tutorial was not confusing. If you like what you saw, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Doesn't matter. You want to support the YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button. And any questions, feel free to drop some questions in the comment section. All right, guys. Peace out.